and welcome to another unboxing. So today we have this wonderful Stella figure by Max Factory. There is a slight funny story about this because when she came up for pre-order, I had decided at that point one of my rules was no OCs, no original characters. And then I found Saiton, uh, the artist who's... Um, illustration this figure is based on and I fell in love with his art. His art is so good if you haven't had a chance to look it up yet I highly recommend it um, and this figure is based on this DF series which is a book which is this book here. So as you can see if I tilt around her box this is the art it's based on which is the front, front cover of this book and inside there are some other designs that haven't been uh, made into figures yet. I personally would love this one to be. Um, <laughs> that wasn't censored in time. I'm going to have to put a blob on that. Um, Saiton really likes drawing butts for some reason. I'd also love this one as a figure. Um, I just really love the design of it. There's also this one with these two girls entangled. Then the Lufia one that is up for pre-order. Um, this one is also really cute. Um, another butt. It's just Saitom's way of doing things. And then there's this one as well, which would be amazing as a figure. And I think Gwen Collects mentioned this one in her unboxing of this figure. So yeah, um, this, I, you can get it off Melon Books, I think. If not, I got mine from Yahoo Auctions. Uh, as a warning, I don't know if Baye will let you do that or not, if that's the proxy of your choice. I used White Rabbit to get that one. Um, but yeah, she is stunning. I, as I mentioned before, I missed the pre-order. So, um, I went onto a website called byfriend.moe. And this is a site that is linked to Ami Ami's API service and checks if an item's in stock or not. And they'll send you an email alert if it does come in. I was on the free tier and I think I missed about four um, opening slots. Uh, I, have, I have actually bought a diamond subscription and the irony is, is that refreshing still worked better. So if you can be up around the time when I Ami mean, I mean, refreshes, you've got more chance. Um, the API actually does a call every two minutes. So say, for example, they do the call Ami Ami updates right after that. You've got this two minute gap that's uncalled for just in kind of the technicalities of how that system works. Um, but it's still supporting that website and giving them income to keep the site going. So if you can afford to do it, it's really nice to do so. Um, I say that as a software developer and knowing how much hosting a site can cost. Um, but yeah, so eventually I managed to get a pre-order um, and then she came out December 15th, I think it was, and I was away at my boyfriend's dad's from the 21st, 22nd sorry, of December until January 4th. So I had her shipped to my boyfriend's dad's and she arrived January 5th. So it's taken me a month um, before we could actually go back down because it's like an hour and a half drive to pick her up. So finally she is in my possession and I could mark her as in my collection. And before um, I get to unbox her properly, finally, I just wanted to go around. There is like a back view of her. I actually really like the style they've done here. And then this one on the back. And there is a sticker of authenticity there. Uh, underneath is just the barcode and I already showed you this lovely art. Saitom is so good. Um, my other favourite artist is DS Mile, who you would have seen me unbox the Chris Bunny recently. I also have the Aruru Bunny on pre-order as well. Um, so let's see. I don't I didn't actually pre-order Luthia though because I don't like her hat. Which is kind of bad to say, but if you could take that off, I'd be more willing to. But I don't like the hat. <laughs> right, so let's get her out. The inside is just this pink. Um, in her blister, she kind of just floats above, um, looking fabulous. So this is supposedly one seventh, but she could honestly be one sixth due to the size of her. 
that or Stella is a very tall girl, which is equally possible. You get all the plastic, sellotape, get that down the side. Let's get this open. Gosh, I've waited so long. She's so pretty. So the base just has the DF logo on it. It's fairly simple. Um, and to be honest, this box is very nicely compact, compact for the size of her. Like she fits and this is a reasonable size, if I'm honest. Now let's uh, peel off this cling film stuff to get her out. I don't think she's tied in any other way. Um, oh wow, what a beauty. God, I love her shoes. Oh, she's stunning. Right, I'm just going to shove this back there for now. We do need to get her head off, which is a little bit worrying. Right, let's see. So if I, uh, I'm just going to wiggle it gently to pull that off. Generally the best way with these, because they usually is a little bit of wiggle room with the pegs. And oh my gosh, she is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Oh gosh, she was well worth the stress of trying to get her. But she, oh, she's a little bit wobbly. She, she doesn't feel like a one seventh somehow. Like she looks more like the sky tube one, especially with the size of her feet. This girl is like me, I've got huge feet. So it just feels um, a bit funny to look at. Right, she is quite heavy. Um, so if I pull her in so you can see her face, her eyes are gorgeous. There's little love hearts in it. I did not realize that before. Um, there's also a little bit of a drip from her horn on her head. And I love the paint they've used for these. Like they're a really, really nice glossy paint. The way they shaded her hair and done um, the sculpt on the back is really nice as well. And obviously the gradient going from the pink to the purple is really beautifully done. There's even some like shading tucked in to the front. She's got a collar on, which is really nicely detailed. The DF doesn't have any bleed whatsoever. It's really well done. There's no gap between her fingers here. Looking at you, Kaguya Bunny. Um, and yeah, like I kind of wish that you couldn't see her nipples quite as obviously, but it looks really good on her. Like I get, I get the style that he's going for. Now the jacket, my gosh, um, where do I even start? So they've got this tag, which is obviously like the zipper kind of things, which look amazing. Um, but I do want to talk about the paint on this. Now this gloss has a nice shimmer to it and also like there's like a bit of white mixed in so you can see all the different layers. It is stunning, so beautiful. And on the inside the camera won't pick this up very well but you might be able to see a little bit of dashes of white. So the constellations are in there but you can't see it unless you're getting the right reflection of light in there. Her abs are very nicely sculpted um, like that is some detail and I do love what they've done with like the jean shorts and the belt that goes around them because it does come down as a tassel and you've got some really good sculpt on the way her thigh goes out like that butt sculpt very nice um, it's very much like Saiton's just drawings as well um, I do have to say this tail is amazing like They've used the same, obviously, same paint, and it has like a dark sheen to it in places where you don't catch the light, especially at the tip of the tail, if I can get that. Apparently I can't. It's behind her hair a little bit. It's really well done. Uh, they've done some really good like sculpt with the thigh stockings here where it's a little bit tight on her. Very nicely detailed. And there is some little sculpts where her knee bends, if I can get that on camera where they've actually made it look very realistic. And then coming down to her shoes, her shoes are very nicely detailed as well. There isn't very, there isn't much paint bleed. There's a little bit on like the buckle bits, but it's honestly not noticeable. 
Um, getting her to rest on this is very hard though. I, I still don't can't get the peg down flat. So that's going to be um, some fun. Trying to get her to be steady in there. That's better. She isn't wobbling as much now. But yeah, overall, God, this I can see why this figure has gone up so much in the aftermarket already. Um, Good Smell Company actually did a restock this morning and everyone went crazy trying to get it. I know a couple of people who managed to. Um, well worth the effort. Uh, she is stunning. Like, yeah, just beautiful. Like, there is so much detail. And they've even done, like, the bits of shine on her hair, like Saiton would do in his illustration. Just overall, beautiful figure. So if you do manage to get her for a decent price, definitely go for it. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll do some B-roll for you to have a look at. And thank you for watching.